this is not one of my prouder moments, but this is how you handle a line call that's funky. I've gotten three already. This is uh, at 4 2, game six. So he calls it out, and you really shouldn't drop the racket. But I previously, when you have one bad call, you say something, you have to go to the net to confront them on that rather. See, the thing that gets me about this is this is a slow ball that he calls out. And as he calls it out, I'm the service line, so I get a really good look at the ball. And I'm in really good position, so he's in trouble, and he knows he's in trouble. So when he makes that call, you have to confront them, you have to go to the net, you have to say something about things, you know. And at this point, I've decided, okay, fine, we're going to call it super close. That's the fourth bad call you give me, and you should never go that far. It should only go as far as two, and it's my mistake, because I just, I didn't care about this match. It doesn't matter, man. I was practicing for the IPF. Yeah. Now, what's going to happen here is now I'm very upset. And that's another issue. And that's the biggest problem you're going to have when you play people and they're making calls. You have to gather your senses. Because this next point, we go to the third point now. Replay. And that ball is close. It was close, dude. But I caught it out. It was close and it was out. If my balls are close and they're out, your balls are close and they're out. And this is where it gets really interesting. Because I've had four of these. And he questions my call. And I've had four. I've only questioned him on three. I'm the third round question. And now it, it, you have to, I'm not proud of this moment, but you have to go up to the person and you have to say something. And you have to confront them. And you have to try to resolve this head to head. Okay. Do not back down. Don't let them physically intimidate you. This is a tennis match, it's referees, it's a tournament. You know? And we discuss it. And I'm telling him basically, you're calling funky and I don't agree with your calls. And I'm trying to be cool about it. you know. And he's taking offense to the fact that I'm questioning his call. And he's questioning my call. So you know we're at the point where there's no there's no it's personal now, because there's no referee. And this is where you need to calm down, disengage, and get a referee. You know, I, I thought we resolved it at this point, but I don't trust him because he he's he made too many calls really. You know? And when he's making those calls, I'm talking to people to the left and right of me on the course, my friends, and they're telling me those balls are in. And at this at this point I just decided I'm just gonna get linesman. You know, it's a big scene, it's totally embarrassing, but I'm getting a linesman, life is going on, and that's just the way it has to be because I think it's a cheat, you know, and nothing's going to happen after this, you know, the problem is I'm already down 2-5, the tournament director brought linesman on court, it's one of those deals where if there's a discrepancy in the call, they, they overrule you if you feel the rest of you, but you have to say something. I lost it a little bit here, I'm not, I'm not proud of this, but it's just what it is.